Hi, this is Denise Matthew, and I just wanted to pop in. I was going to talk about the transits of what's happening now in the world because you only have to open up the news and you can see that a lot's happening. And the astrologers have predicted this, so it's not something that we can take as, as shocking. I mean, we have fires, we have, um, there's less escalation in tensions in all over the world. I'm not going to jump into all the different problems that we're having, but I think that anybody who knows anything about what's going on in the world, you know, can understand it. Now, I looked at the uh, Globes last night, uh, I did just the highlights, and they, there was Tom Hanks was there, and apparently Ricky Gervais had said some joke that people were trying not to laugh at because he can be what would be considered politically incorrect. So... I looked at him and, and they were trying not to laugh and then I thought why not laugh because this is what it's all about right now. We have a lot of stuff happening in our world. We have a lot of stress. We have a lot of anxiety. People are completely scared about what the future is going to bring. So how do we cope with that? Well, sometimes we just need to laugh. Sometimes we have a moment where we just just let it go. I remember when my father died years ago and I was in the funeral home and I looked out the window and everybody seemed to be walking around doing their own life, their own life and everything was great. And I, and I just thought about, okay, so this is my moment. My, this is my moment in the house, in the house of what you, you could call it pain. You could call the house of, of that moment where you almost don't want to smile. You don't, you don't want to laugh. You don't want to, to, um, express anything but grief because you think well how can I be anything but but sad because something bad's happened or something sad has happened but you know I think in the real world we have to say that it's okay to be happy and so in those moments when the tension is high and the stress is is insurmountable and you just don't know where to turn what to do Sometimes it's okay to laugh. Sometimes it's okay to take that moment and not feel guilty about the, the fact that you've smiled and not feel guilty by the fact that you've actually taken a moment and enjoyed a moment of levity. And then you can always go back to your stress and your anxiety and your and your and all those feelings that we have because they'll always be there. And I think if there's anything that I can say as a message today, it's just to let go of that guilt, let go of that that guilt of having that moment of levity, no matter what's going on in your life, because it, it's it's what you need. We're humans. We need something to break the ice sometimes. We need just to feel a little bit of laughter. And they always say a good cry makes you feel better, but also a good laugh makes you feel better. And I think it's almost that same kind of after you've had a big cry, you feel very relaxed and you feel almost sedated. And who can't say that if you've had a real good belly laugh where things just you just kept laughing and laughing and you couldn't stop and the and you're just you're tired and you're sort of almost sedated as well so my message today is yes we have a lot of stuff going on in the world but just try and you know take that moment of levity if you need to and and you know life will happen it will always show up it will always gi give you what you need and it will always you know, give you stress when when stress is part of the plate and it will give you some levity when levity is and I think we need to take every part of it and just express it in our in ourselves. And when we do that, I think we can probably cope better because we have a moment to get away from it. I think the biggest issue we have is just this whole idea of just being surrounded and not feeling that there's any way out. So just take that door of levity, take that door of of happiness just for five minutes 30 seconds whatever it is and it just might make all the difference in the world as far as the transits go i'm just going to throw in we have mars just moved into the gate 34 which is all about power now power can be somebody who or it can be something like we can do a lot of work with it but it can also be a bullying energy now that's what we could be seeing we could see a b we could be seeing a bullying energy that's sort of coming into um, the atmosphere and you know you, you might feel that energy of, of uh, well you could see it in other people and maybe you're going to get bullied or or you feel like bullying other people so you know sometimes if you feel that someone's coming for you or you feel like you want to come for somebody just try and step back and see it as an energetic and maybe you just need some space and maybe you need some some um, you know to get away from it so for for the next couple of days we're going to have this energy and then we also have 
uh, the lunar eclipse coming up on Friday. I'll talk about that later, but for now, all I'm going to say is it's okay to be happy, and I hope you have a good day. Take care.